I still don't want to idle, so now we'll have to pull the carburetor off. Probably got a jet clogged. Okay, to pull this carburetor off, this air box needs to be scooted back. Okay, this 10 millimeter bolt's got to come off to allow that air box to slide back. Okay, then we'll loosen the screw here that's holding the, the band clamp together that holds this boot assembly together and also for this snorkel tube Phillips screwdriver. Okay, with those loose, it's going to slide the air box back. Okay, now we're going to have to remove the fuel line, throttle cable, and choke cable from the carburetor. Okay, now that we've got it off, I'm going to remove these four bolts, or four screws rather, on the bottom of it. You know, the most difficult part about this, and time consuming, is just getting the carburetor off. See, there's a little bit of dirt in the bottom of it. It doesn't take much to clog one of these jets up, they're really fine. Okay, this is your main jet. Use a seven millimeter, pull it out. This one looks pretty clean. I don't know if you can see. Okay, pull that pin out. We can pull our float assembly. And okay, to get this smaller jet out, I'm gonna use a straight screwdriver. See there's some corrosion there around it. Okay guys, this jet that goes right here, this is gonna be the, the problem with it. Can't see through it, it's uh, completely clogged. Also I'll use it straight to pull this one out here on the side. Vice and spray carburetor cleaner through all the passages on here. Okay, now that this is sprayed off, I'm just gonna reassemble the same way we took it apart. I just cut the car, put it back on, start it up. So if you got a rough idle, it's not running right. If you're having to run with the choke on to keep it running, uh, the car is a good place to start.